Once I was seven years old. Yeah, can you believe my oldest son? I was driving with my oldest son and he, uh, he's the one that told me about uh, that song. And uh, it's just so trippy when your little angels are, you know, putting music on your radar. Um, so I'm wondering how many minutes we could actually live stream today. I think we're at like 14 minutes, but I can't, I can't thank you guys enough and I can't. I can't appreciate you guys enough. Um, you just, you're all with me on my birthday. And again, this is a, a very special, 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 special birthday. Um, tomorrow, the trailer for Triple X comes out. Uh, the other night I was uh, with the director, DJ Caruso, and I go so deep into the movie that, you know, I always need to hear afterwards what the experience is or what the movie feels like. And uh, he's blown away by it. I said, why are you so blown away by this movie? And he says, it's just so much fun, Vin. It's so much fun. We miss that character. We miss that irreverence. And uh, I was like, OK, well, you got me. I'm dying to see it. So I might be able to see it this the next couple of days before I go back to uh, back to the Fast 8 set. Um, but he also talked about the spirit of the movie and he talked about how it celebrates individuality and, and celebrates being who you are, which is something we've talked about so many times. Being you. You being you. You being confident about being you, which means you can do anything as long as it, it's authentic. You know how many times I've done a cover song or something? You know I've never been trained as a singer, but you know I don't care because, you know, I'm willing to be authentic and maybe that comes from acting for over 40 years. I mean, <laughs> turned 49 today and I started acting when I was seven years old. Once I was seven years old, I started acting on a stage in New York. Once I was seven years. And then of course it took me until I was 30 to get paid as an actor because I was 30 years old when I did Saving Private Ryan. Actually, if you go to Collider, they got a really interesting clip of some of the early movies that I did, like Saving Private Ryan and boiler room and knock around guys and just kind of cool. I thought that was cool. Shout out to Collider for, for putting that little birthday thing together. Um, shout out to all of you for all the wonderful birthday wishes. You feel the love. You feel our collective. I mean, if you were, <laughs> you were standing on Mars and looking at our world from afar, and you saw it through the eyes of Vin Book, you'd think we have a shot out here. Um, you'd think we cared about each other, which we do and which we should. Yeah, I don't want to lose this, but I'm still rocking what my little angel just made me. They're trying to prepare a little surprise birthday for daddy. And letting them operate. You know, when you work, 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 and in film, you work, 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 and the fruits of your labor is when people get to enjoy your movie. So the fact that you're going to be able to see Billy Lynn on Veterans Day which is a, such a cool thing to do. So cool to be able to work with Ang Lee, 
Uh, I was talking to my agent a couple of days ago, Kevin Huvane, and he was, you know, reminding me that when we st first started working together 10 years ago, I said that I wanted to work with Ang Lee. And uh, the fact that I just did Billy Lynn's long halftime walk and the fact that that movie's coming out, um, it's just cool. But that, the fact that that comes out Veterans Day and then on January 20th, you're going to see the most global cast ever put together for a movie that is so fun and so timely. And I can't even tell you everyone in, that's in the movie. There's like surprises in there. But uh, the cast is just so cool. Such a powerful cast and so much fun. And the one thing that, that DJ Caruso said was... Um, he, 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 he said, across the board, everyone that he's shown the movie to, you just want to see the next Triple X. You just want more of it. You just want to chill with Xander and see more of it. And what I was saying on the last live stream that I did an hour ago, or a little over an hour ago, was how necessary it was for me to do that movie. You know I was in a dark place. You know I was... Um, hurting inside doing, doing Fast 7 and completing that movie. Uh, and I just needed to do something that was happy or just not even happy, but fun. I just needed to do something fun. And man, was Triple X fun. I got to do extreme sports again. I got to do the things that I loved doing on the first one. Uh, I enjoyed not only making the movie, but I enjoyed the training process. You know, riding the canteens, the jungle skiing, the longboarding, the stuff we do on the water, which we got to film in the Dominican Republic, which was another cool thing this year. We started that Dominican pro that, that film program, the One Race Global Film Foundation, 10 years ago. And there were actually people working on production that came through that school that my father was teaching um, down in the Dominican Republic, where we were taking inner city kids and teaching them how to be filmmakers. Uh, yeah, the news is just bombarding us with so much so much of what's negative in the world. But I kind of, I believe in our resilient spirit. If you stand strong, and if you stand with conviction, and you stand with love, you're going to be okay. And this planet's going to be okay. And that's my birthday wish.